Just like a broken record, same old songs of accusation play. Like who are you to speak the truth? Just look at all your failures and mistakes. And if they really knew you, there's no way they could love you anyway. Oh, oh, oh but I will fight the lies with the truth. Hello, and welcome to the Send Help Podcast. A podcast and a lifeline for moms who are stuck in the trenches of mommyhood, bringing them encouragement through Jesus, laughter, and sisterhood. Hello, Christy. (laughs) What's up? (laughs) So today feels like the longest day in the world. Oh my goodness. How? (laughs) I don't know. I really don't get it. I don't get it either, but... The fact that it I'm not the only person day. that felt that way. So today is Monday, now that we're re recording on Monday. Right. And Kristen and I both were like, yesterday was not Sunday. I mean, I all but day today, was. I'm like, it's Tuesday. Tomorrow's gonna be Wednesday. It's not. It's not. No. Monday has been two days. Yeah. <laughs> I really feel like it has. Yeah. Not that I got a lot accomplished today or that a lot happened to me. It just felt really long. Yeah. I don't know. Um, For me, I was in the shower by six because we had to go vote and we were coming off the weekend hot. Mm -hmm. So (laughs) mama hadn't washed her hair since Friday. (laughs) You know, (laughs) because why? Why? (laughs) Why would you? Um, Anyway, and I was like, I'm not going to go vote. (laughs) Looking, looking like, like this because <laughs> who knows who i'm gonna see it's true who knows how long we're gonna be standing with those people <laughs> there is a line out the door and porta potties on the sidewalk yeah it um, makes me nervous some of some of the candidates had their own little tents this morning like we walked by and tim goes isn't that the guy on the poster I was like, oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> then I was like, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't vote for him. Let's keep walking. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. But we got, we dropped Josh off at school. Then we went straight to the annex in Weatherford. And we <laughs> waited. We're, we were all, the line was already wrapped around the building and they didn't even open until eight. Yeah. <laughs> So we, I mean, we were only in line for like, it from start to finish was about 45 minutes and we just needed to get it out of the way, yeah. get it done. Yeah. Tim had, oh, this morning, this morning we're getting Josh ready and today it didn't get past like 58. Right. It was 55 when we picked him up from school and <laughs> um, we was the first day that we had pulled out his long pants <laughs> and... Nothing fit. Nothing. Oh, no. We went through every pair of pants. He found, Tim found one pair of pants, some camo pants that because of the way they were gathered, like you could cheat it if he wore high enough shoes, which is what he did. Because I was like, well, I don't want to send you to, these people don't know me very well. I'm not going to send you to school in shorts, even though it would have been totally fine and he would have been fine. I was set on him wearing pants. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, because he wanted to wear a t-shirt instead of a long sleeve shirt. Usually I go half and half. Right. You know, because it's You do the Texas. long sleeves, you can do the shorts. Right. Right. Or long pants, pants with short, short sleeve. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I get you. I do. Anyway, so we needed to make a pit stop after we voted to go to, we hit Walmart because Walmart has $6 pants. And for as fast as Josh is growing... Six dollar pants yeah. is where it's at. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, got him like four new pairs of pants. We only spent, man, I think we only spent like forty dollars, and we got him pants and underwear. That's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. <laughs> and some other things because you know in February, yeah, he's going to need new pants again. I know, I know exactly, but um. Tim had a an interview, which was the weirdest experience because it was all online um, because of COVID. 
then he's for all of the jobs that he's interviewed for with this company and like he's never it's always been in person like yeah. he's even driven to dallas oh and um <laughs> It was so funny because like he was like, let's set up the ring light. So we like set it all up and he was like, I feel like it went really well because my screen, my picture looked amazing and we could barely see him, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but um, so that was big deal. And then afterwards we were both dressed. We were like dress, dress. I was showered, something. had some mascara on because nice. I had to wear a mask. Right. You know? <laughs> okay. So we get into Bath and Body Works, went in because Tasha has been talking about this pumpkin pecan waffle smell. And I was really excited to smell all the fall candles because you guys know I love a candle. Candle sniffing is one of my favorite pastimes and it makes me calm and it makes me feel loved <laughs> from the inside. <laughs> it's a love language of mine. I can just imagine it like on an on online dating site. Loves to smell candles. <laughs> Like we ended up going on a, just like, an impromptu day date, and I was like, "Can we sniff candles, please?" And he was like, "Yes, we can. Why not?" <laughs> What's your favorite date? <laughs> April twenty third. <laughs> For me, it's smelling like smelling candles, candle sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim very dutifully smelled right along with me. Ah, I know. Even though he could totally live without ever smelling another candle. Yes. <laughs> but he also knows that if I find one that I like, he has to live with it too. Yep. <laughs> 11 years of marriage right there. <laughs> it's just spelled out. It's there perfect. you go, ladies. Perfect. If you haven't snapshot. met the right one. Find one that will sniff candles with you. <laughs> Even though he could care less. And it really bothers him to pull his mask down and put it back up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, so you guys, I'm looking around. All of the fall stuff is gone. Like there are three scents that have pumpkin in them and only one of them came in anything other than the giant candle. Ooh. Mm hmm. They have already moved on to Christmas and even stuff for new year's they have a champagne flavor <laughs> i know and it's like does it smell like purpose. new year's eve i didn't even smell that one because i was even so perturbed that it was out <laughs> how do you make a scent for new year's it's a champagne it's called a champagne toast oh. yeah they had a lot of champagne so maybe it Fireworks. wasn't okay so maybe Drunk it people. wasn't it's, sweaty dancing. It's possible that it wasn't actually know. supposed to be for New Year's, but it was with all the winter stuff. Yeah. And it, they were kind of going around the room with like the different, here's Christmas, and then boom, champagne and winter. I don't know. So like, they've already decided it's not fall. But you guys, it is not it's even. almost still summer. <laughs> yes. Today was the first day. That we didn't get over like 62 degrees. Yes. And then tomorrow it'll be 85 again. And I know that that doesn't matter for all the other states, but in Texas, like we're still, we're still in like pre-fall. Yes. <laughs> That's where we are. That's a really good way of saying it. We are in pre-fall. It is. We're in pre-fall. We actually had a conversation. There's one week of fall on and the then we school. go into t-shirt winter avery made a comment <laughs> about the ground being covered in gold and it was like the leaves that had fallen off the tree that's beautiful yeah she the way that she said it i was like what where do you live <laughs> but <laughs> that's not what i see but i was like well you know some places because she was like i can't wait until they turn orange and red because She's in school now, so yeah, she's seeing all the fall themed yes things yes. Like I am sorry to disappoint you, sweetie, but we live in a place where everything is green until it falls off the tree, <laughs> and then as it lays on the ground, it turns yellow and then brown. Okay, 
But I got to say, I was at the Zipline Park, which is actually Friendship Park. And they d- the Zipline's not even there yeah. right now, which is disappointing stupid and sad. Anyway, we got out of the car this weekend. And I was like, whoa. It's like, r-. Josh goes, it's fall. Look at all the leaves on the ground. Oh, I have to go see it now yeah, before it's they gone. They were like red and orange. Josh okay. laid down in them. Oh. Uh, yeah. That was really gross. But yeah. It really is when yeah. you think it. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Never mind. But anyway, I didn't give him permission. He did it on his own. Well. <laughs> I was at the if table. Kids don't ask permission. I was to at the if leaves. table. Josh played on the playground for four hours. <laughs> But it is. It's pre-fall. It is. We're it's just still, getting we're still to the temperature in pre-fall, and the colors. But we're not even no. to Halloween. Mm-mm. And I don't know about you guys. And I know that oh, I know, this is kind of a common thing that a lot of people talk about. Is that we tend to go from Halloween to Christmas. And we skip the whole Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. interlude. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's because we're dealing with companies that are overseas and they don't have Thanksgiving. It's possible. I hadn't thought about that until this very moment. Maybe. But, I mean, Hobby Lobby had their fall stuff out in July. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) The last time I was in a Hobby Lobby was like July. Yeah. (laughs) And people weren't going places then. Maybe we just missed it. I don't know. Because, I mean, you got to plan ahead on your seasonal decor. Well, you really do. I mean, you can't even find... Here's what I don't get. I don't get the fact that we... I can't even find... I found fall... The fall blend for mm-hmm. Starbucks K-Cups. <laughs> one, like, one time. Right, yeah. And now they're sold out everywhere. Yeah. They've already moved on to all the Christmas flavors. And those are almost sold out, too. <gasps> but... What I'm saying is, it's like we're really rushing it. We're rushing it. It seems this year is way worse than ever. (laughs) Ever. I think everyone is putting a lot of stock in Christmas and the end of 2020. I get that. But we have seasons for a reason. We do. So, like, this is where, this is where I was going with with it is that the Lord was really talking to me while I was in, in Bath, and Body, in Bath and Body Works. Yes. Upset that I can't find any pumpkin, any of the, my favorite. I was like, this is ridiculous. I can't find my favorite smells. <laughs> like there's nothing. I don't like it. Anything. I don't want peppermint. I was just <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not ready for peppermint. No. Um, and I used to be that person that, couldn't even stand people that turned on like when klty would start playing christmas music before thanksgiving mm-hmm. i was like no I they mean, used to have a vote yeah and you had to like call in and vote on yes. whether or not you wanted to hear it yet in whichever way the vote went you yeah. either got christmas music or you had to wait well they had the vote after the years that they started it before thanksgiving yeah and it was like, no. Yeah. Um, so that is when <laughs> I've been that person until Hallmark. Until the last couple right. years and Hallmark. And Hallmark <laughs> starts there. In July. That is the only time that I um, am thankful <laughs> for it is, I mean, their Christmas countdown starts on the 26th of October. And I'm here for it. <laughs> but I that is too. it. Because I that's mostly because their fall movies suck. They're not as good. No. They're, they're not. They're not as good. No. I don't know if it's just Christmas decorations make everything, all the acting seem better. Maybe. I'm not sure. I feel like they write better at Christmas. They do. Yeah. They do. But that's totally besides Santa the point. Santa and gift giving have to be a part of it. Yeah. That is the only exception yeah. for me when it comes to getting through the seasons any faster. But what I was saying is that God was really speaking to me while I was inside of bed not Bed Bath & Beyond, but Bath & Body Works, (laughs) about how we rush seasons and how we are trying, we try so hard to rush through the different seasons that we have with God. We do. Not just, you know, 
seasonal season seasonal seasons. seasonal seasons <laughs> seasonal seasons i'm talking about seasons barometric, that we walk not through barometrics with christ <laughs> temperature seasons i'm not even talking about seasons of life but the i feel four like seasons yeah, thank you <laughs> Or in Texas, the two seasons. The two and a half seasons. It's the 2.2. 2.2. We go through seasons for a reason. We do. And you can't rush the seasons. No. Okay. Because speaking in the four seasons. Yes. The weather changing seasons. Yes. Weather seasons. Weather seasons. Oh, that's good. Winter has to kill everything in order for spring to bring the new growth. Mm -hmm. And I guess if you want to get real technical about it, a good summer has to happen to dry everything back out to get ready for fall. It's true. And a good freeze, if you don't have a good freeze, we all know in Texas, your allergies are going to be worse than ever. And then the sicknesses get worse than ever. So if we try and rush a season, good things don't happen. Right. Things get messed up. Yeah. It's a very good, that's a very, yeah. Yes, exactly. And I mean, I started to count how many, because you know I like to do that. You do. Um, (laughs) I started to count how many times the Bible (laughs) talks about seasons. I was like, I'm just counting the oh, word. Oh, it seasons. does. It says it a lot. It talks about it a so lot. So much. Talks about seasons of life. It talks about seasons like of the tree that's planted by the water that the fruit doesn't grow right away and that the that the roots have to go down right. deep in order for it to grow strong, for right. it to be able to fruit and flower. So like you can't plant the tree by the water. Yeah. And then expect for it to have beautiful acorns the next day. Yeah. You can't rush it. It takes time. I know. (laughs) I know. I'm thinking about fall. Those acorns are just so beautiful. Thinking about fall. Um, But, you know, it has to grow in order to be able to be in its fruiting season. Yes. Right? And that's, I say fruiting season because it's in the Bible. Fruiting season. Yes. That's the season that I like because that's when you can pick it and eat it. Yes. We all love the fruiting season. We Nobody do. enjoys the the pruning season. Nobody enjoys I mean, even the growing Jesus cursed season. the tree because it wasn't fruiting. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it that fruiting. is a throwback. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like what the Lord was really just talking to me about was clearly that you can't rush the season that you're in. I know none of us want to be in 2020 anymore. Whew. But no, we don't. But it's not like, okay, what is currently happening is not going to just suddenly end when the clock strikes midnight. No. It's not Cinderella's pumpkin. No. It's not going to, at the strike of midnight on December 31st of 2020. It's also not Cinderella's latte. It's not Cinderella's latte either. <laughs> it's not going to just suddenly poof and those glass slippers disappear. No. It's not going to just magically change. This is a season that we are working through. It's definitely a pruning season. It's definitely an uprooting season for The majority of us, it really is. Mm -hmm. And it's a shaking up season. Yeah, it's a shaking up season. Yeah. And we do. We have to go through that season. And that season has to serve its purpose Mm -hmm. and come to completion in its time. Yeah. We, everyone in Texas knows that you cannot make summer end. No, we try hard. Just because the calendar says first day of fall does not mean that our summer is over. True. Just because 2020 is over doesn't necessarily mean that this season is going to 
suddenly be done and we all move into happy times. Yeah. We can't just put the season on halt. Whoa, I'm done with you. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. No. Seasons don't obey our time frame. No, That's they the do thing, not. you guys. We're talking about God's timing right now. Right. We're not done with a season until God says that we're done. Right. But God, God works through those seasons. He does. I think that, I mean, we've talked about you moving into a new season. Yeah. I've moved into a new season of yeah. not having all toddlers. Yes. I've got a, a school child now, which is a game changer. I said the other day, it's like when you're pregnant and it's your first child and people are like, oh, your life is about to change. But no one explains that. <laughs> well, they try, but you don't hear it. Well, or listen. I think that, <laughs> well, I mean, when I was pregnant with Avery, it was, oh, your life is about to change. That's what everyone said. And I would kind of be like, well, yeah, because there's going to be a baby. How? But how? <laughs> and... I'd, but, you know, I'm in the same spot when someone's pregnant with their first child. I don't want to scare them. So I say the same thing. It's about to change. And that's that's it. You just got to leave it at that. But no one explained to me what moving from toddler to big kid means. No one explained that change to me. And there have been a lot of things over the last few months that I've been like, oh, oh we're doing this now. <laughs> yeah we're in this stage of life now it happens what? overnight yes just yes. like the temperature changes overnight like yeah, but this one doesn't change back the next day no <laughs> well these are these are northern right <laughs> these are northern seasons <laughs> yeah. and i mean you've been in new seasons Big you time. have currently had a season that lasted for a long time. Yeah. Long time. Yeah. And it has come to an end. And now you, you're you entering into a whole new season. I know. It's crazy. I started, I sat back today and I was like, wow. Because I was, okay, well, truth is, I was reading through Ecclesiastes because we were talking about seasons. Yeah. And then Tim started singing to every season. Turn, turn, yeah. turn. This all happened in the pickup line yeah. on Marco Polo with Christy. And I was, I read it wrong. <laughs> you read it yeah, wrong? Yeah, I read it wrong. Yeah. Because it says, I'll just read it. I'm going to read it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to read it. Um, read it wrong. Ecclesiastes. I'm going to, I'll read it to you the way that I read it first. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm wanting. Ecclesiastes 3. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. So I read a time to be born and a time to die. And then I read a time to uproot. And then I read a time to heal. And then I read a time to build. But then I read plant in there somewhere. But it's not that way. <laughs> but it says a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time to war, for war and a time for peace. What does the worker gain from his toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on men. He has made everything beautiful in its time. I love this. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men, yet they cannot fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for men than to be happy and do good for the while, while they live, that everyone may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all his toil. This is the gift of God. I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so that men will revere him. So, I mean, I could go on, but I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> like, we don't know what God is doing. 
And he has said it in this time for a reason. Mm -hmm. There is a reason that you are in the season that you're in. There is a reason that he is walking you through what you're walking through. Right. And you can't speed it up. No. Because that would be in your time and not his time. Mm -hmm. And you want everything to be perfect and everything to be beautiful in its time. Mm -hmm. Because that's what he does, is he makes everything beautiful in its time. And we have been in a season of uprooting. And we've had to go through healing. And honestly, there in some places, ooh, that hurt. <laughs> that really hurt. Um, so we've planted and we've been uprooted. There was a time where we had to kill some things off and mm -hmm. we had to heal. And we're still kind of in that heal place. And we've torn down and it's now we're in a time to build. And like today, it just it hit me while I was standing there, frustrated at the lack of pumpkin, <laughs> that today, today, God was like, hey, it's time to take that sticker off your car. Hey, <laughs> like I he had me redo my entire prayer wall. Well, not my entire. I kept the first two because it was um, the prayers for our family. Right. But the rest of the wall, I had to tear it all down and start from scratch. And that was a big deal for that me. That is a big deal. It's, I mean, it's still in process, but it's all up on the wall. And he had me just throw away the whole one that I had for the church. And I mean, I've saved throughout, throughout my, my prayer wall that I've had. Anytime that a prayer gets answered, I've taken the post-it note and I've put it in a, in a box that I got for our wedding. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, so like it was, it's always fun to go through those and be like, this is where God right. has brought us. Like I took the picture, the picture that I had of you and your family up there was of the girls. Carson wasn't even born yet. He right. was in your tummy. <laughs> so the whole, the, the main prayer request was about the girls and about this baby that was going to be born. And then I put up the picture of your whole family. And I was like, wow. I was like, look at this clean slate. But I had to put, I had to put away the entire new river prayer board because that chapter is closed. Yeah. And I put up a whole revived church one and it was just, I don't know. I, <laughs> it shook me. Because I was like, wow, like it's, we, I mean, and he was very specific about that timing. He wanted me to get it done. Like I was supposed to get it done about a week ago, but then it was up and I was able to look at it today at, because I put it all together yesterday. And today Tim had, like we voted together. This is the first time we've been, we've been able to vote together in an election, our entire marriage or the whole time we've been together which is crazy because there have been some elections, but we've never been able to go together. Mm -hmm. And so we did that together and that's a big change thing. I mean, the whole thing is change. Then Tim had a, an at home an interview. interview, you know, for a, a whole new season. And like, it's just, I don't know it. God was just really talking to me about seasons today. I don't know if this is tracking with anybody else. <laughs> I just, it's a totally new season and I had to let go of some relationships and that hurt. It hurt yeah. to uproot. Yeah. Um, it hurt to have to kind of not bury to never go back to, but let go of and be okay with whatever God chose to do. Right. And that may mean that that relationship is dead. Right. Don't know. <laughs> And the healing has taken a while. And we're just, day, it was like, whoa, the season shifted. It was cool outside. I wore a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I wore a sweater. That's huge. I forgot my jacket today. Yeah. <laughs> we went on a day date. 
it may be one of the last ones we have because the schedule will change if he gets this job. Mm -hmm. But there was a serious shift today for us. Josh was in a whole nother size of clothes. Josh had a good day with a sub for the very first time in his entire life. It was a huge day. And I don't want to rush God. I want it. I have tried to rush this process and I have tried to rush the season that we were in Mm -hmm. for a really long time. A really long time. Yeah. And I would like to rush this one a little bit so that we can get to the let's get a house. Let's, you know. Right. Let's move on. Do something, Lord, with the podcast. Like, like, like growth, growth, lots of growth. But he's got his own timing. (laughs) And we just have to deal with it. Right. And if you don't just go into it with a pessimistic attitude uh, and you yeah. don't go into it with a, I have to deal with this. Right. Instead, be like, all right, Lord, where are you? Right. What do you want me to do? Like, right. why are we in this season? Well, and I think a lot of people right now, just because of current circumstances, have experienced an uprooting or an ending to something, Mm -hmm. it's been a very natural break for a lot of people to take advantage of to even make that choice on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Maybe there were some things that was a struggle. Like, I know I don't want to leave this. I'm not ready to leave this. And then this season was thrust upon us. Yes. Kicking and screaming. Mm -hmm. But we also have to remember, though, that that naturally is followed into a season of planting. Yes. Dude, you guys, you have to tear down before you can rebuild. And then even when you rebuild, when you replant, when you re-sow a seed, it takes time. It does. It takes time to build. Mm -hmm. It takes time for the seed to grow. So leaving one season... That happens now. It really does happen very naturally with a lot of things. Like you don't leave one season without going into another. Right? Yeah. It just happens naturally that when one season ends, you flow into another one. But sometimes it takes a while to get going. Yeah. Spring doesn't just suddenly happen. Mm -mm. We get really frustrated waiting for spring Mm -hmm. because once again. Christmas is over. (laughs) There's nothing left to sell in home decor. (laughs) Let's put all the spring stuff out. Mm -hmm. And in February, Texans are tired of the cold. Yeah. Because the cold has finally hit. We've had two weeks of real cold. (laughs) (laughs) And we're done with it. And we're ready for spring. And we spend the next month waiting for spring Mm -hmm. and waiting and waiting like we're in Narnia and it's been winter. But like April showers bring May flowers. Right. But the showers have to come before the flowers can grow. It's all a natural progression. And if we step back and really look at our lives and look at what's going on, sometimes we're in a planting season. Sometimes we're being planted. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're sowing seeds, Mm -hmm. planting. I mean, that could go either way also. And if it's your season to be planted, sit in that. Let God talk to you in that. Where are you being planted? What, What is that vision that he has given you of what you are growing into? Or maybe you're in a season of sowing and you're sowing into someone or something else, but it still takes time. Mm -hmm. It's a season that you have to work through and go through and you can't rush it. I mean, what would happen if you tried to rush the seed? Right. You can't rush. I don't know. Yeah. The baby's not ready. No. You don't want that baby to be born before. It is developed and ready to survive on its own. Yeah. So if you are in a season of waiting for that seed to sprout Mm -hmm. and you're getting tired of it, (laughs) remember that. Yeah. Things have a natural progression. 
And yeah, it's frustrating and we want to push it. And we want to start playing that Christmas music. I do. I do not. I do. I, I want the peppermint mocha. I want to play the Christmas music. I mean, don't get it twisted. I'm going to buy that peppermint mocha uh, this week. But yeah. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Well, I, I mean, I feel like I was all over yeah. the place with analogies, but <laughs> and words because words are hard today. <laughs> when we when we let it happen in God's timing then that's when we see, oh, this is what, this is what he intended. Yeah. And it's so much better. Like you can always, when you're finally get to the season, look back and be like, oh, this could not have happened back then. Right. This, this would not have been good. Like, right. This was not right. But then, <laughs> you know, in the moment. And even though we're all in different seasons, Mm -hmm. This is a hard time to be in whatever season we're in. Yeah. It really is. Nobody's got it easy right, right. now. Right. But God is faithful. He is doing the work. He is. And really, he's the one and not us. Yeah, he's tilling the soil. He's ripped everything out. He's tending to it. He's making sure the ground is ready because he knows exactly what the seed needs. Mm-hmm. If that's where you are, you know, but, or maybe some things are being uprooted and ripped out. Yeah. Or it feels like they're being ripped out, but really you're just in a season of uprooting. You're in a season of change. Exactly. I don't like change. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so for me, things are always just being ripped away. <laughs> But then when the new thing is there, I'm like, oh. They're making room. <laughs> they have to be ripped out in order to make room. I know. <laughs> I'm always happy about it in the end, right before things get ripped up again. I mean, instead of just putting an addition on your house and you're like, well, we need to fix this and we need to fix this. And if we're going to have the, the pass through here, we have to close up this wall here. And it's like, no. God's like, hey, I can afford to just tear the whole house down and build it from scratch the right way, the way you need it quickly in my yeah. timing. <laughs> Sometimes it's quick. Sometimes it's slow. Yeah. I was thinking about your house, like oh. closing the, oh the window goodness. out here. But you know what I mean? If you just add a yeah. room on, there are like five extra things that have to happen yeah. to make it work. And right. it's just making it work. It's not... The way you really want it. Yeah. It's yeah. It's finding a way it to fit it. Right. And it's like making it work and just adding that room on. You're not going to be happy with mm -hmm. it completely in the long run. That would be rushing the season. Right. God's like, I want to take it down all the way to the foundation and I want to put more foundation and I want to do it all the way that I want to do it. Right. Are you ready? Do you want a shoddy McMansion or do you want... <laughs> <laughs> McMansion. <laughs> like... You know, I mean, so it's fast. It's not great work. It looks like everything else. Everything's broken right. for six months. Right. Or do you want a firm foundation with the castle that God wants for you, the way he intended for it to be built? Right. So when you were talking about Ecclesiastes, we were reading it, really. You weren't just talking about it. Right. But there were a lot of seasons that you read through that stood out to me. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm assuming that maybe the ones that stood out to me are the ones that I need to maybe focus on a little bit, spend okay. some time on. It's a good thought. Maybe like you read it wrong like me. Yeah. <laughs> and God was like, actually, that's what I want you to look at. Right. <laughs> but, uh, I am willing to bet that there was a season that stood out to everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's, I'm sure it's different for everyone. But I would challenge you, the listener, well, you also, Amanda. <laughs> I am challenged. <laughs> I would challenge y'all 
to read back over it. Or maybe you remember, maybe one stood out to you also while Amanda was reading them and you already remember what it is. Or you're like me and it's been more than two minutes ago, so you need to go read it again (laughs) and remember, oh yeah, that was the one that stood out. But And maybe that's the season that you're in. The one that stood out to you very possibly could be the season that you are in, the season that you're walking through right now. Or the one that you're about to enter. True that. So if it's one that you're about to enter, don't rush it. Let your current season finish. Make sure that it's in God's timing before the next season begins. Man. I mean, I'm in a season right now that I could just end. I could, I could just end it, the season, Mm -hmm. but I want it to be in God's time because otherwise it's just not going to be right. It's not going to be right. People are going to be hurt. Things are going to happen. It has to be in God's timing. It does. So can't sneak out like a thief can't in sneak the night. out. <laughs> no, you can't sneak out. And honestly, I don't know if the season is ending. I don't. The season might be rough and I might want it to just be over with. Mm-hmm. But is that God's intention or not? You can't rush. You can't rush the season. You just can't. Because if I just up and said, I'm, I'm done with this season, I'm out. I'll see y'all later. And that wasn't God's plan. Mm-hmm. Then I totally just ended that season. And the heat of summer is not just going to go away. No. So. I know there was a season that stood out. There was definitely a season that stood out to me. So I know there's got to be one that stuck out to everyone else also. So I just encourage everyone to put some thought and some prayer into that season that stood out. Don't force a season to end. And don't force a season to begin either. Yeah. All right, guys. I feel like we've talked enough. Now it's time for God to talk to you and you for you to talk to God. So check us out on social media at Send Help Podcast. Go to our website, thesendhelppodcast.com and check us out on YouTube. We love you guys and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.